cartridges, you line this up, and you pop the cartridges out and reload. Okay? This was the very first cartridge weapon on the planet ever. This was modern technology. This, this was like, like secret stuff back then. Okay? Prior to that, to load a weapon of this. Can I pass this or is this? You can pass. Okay. It is there not loaded from my mind. So okay. Or I assume okay. they're not loaded. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is how to load this weapon. Take it down. I'm going to pull off that. Take the, take the cylinder out. Now, you would put, you put your gunpowder in here. You put a wad in there. You put the bullet in there on each one of these. Then you put like a little greasy stuff that looks kind of like cream of wheat, and they kind of nicknamed it cream of wheat at the time, too. And you put it on top of all these. And then, I'm going to put this back in, and I realize nobody's shooting at me while I'm doing this, so it's going to be a little easier today. But you can imagine, you know, if somebody was trying to kill you, and here you were trying to reload this, you were probably not going to be pleased to be. I didn't really want to go in very Now, we're still not ready to fire it. We've got to pack down each and every one of these. So now you're going to go to the next cylinder, pack it down, and make sure that it's all tight. I'm not going to do all the things. <coughs> why do you think we put that grease on the end? Any idea? Well, I'll tell you why. Help uh, it shoot. What's that? Help it shoot out. Help no, it didn't help it shoot out. It was, it was going, believe me. <laughs> Everything's leaving. When, when, that, when that powder goes, it's all going. There's nothing staying there. No, what happened was there's a lot of sparks and smoke and all sorts of excess stuff that comes out of a barrel of these things. So the chances were pretty good since all of these are real close together that the spark might have ignited another one of the chambers. That wasn't going to be good, especially if the chamber was in here where that gun's going to blow up in your hand and probably pretty much take you with it. So it was good to seal that off so the other chambers didn't go. All right? Oh, no, it's not. You still got to put a cap on each and every one of these tiny little nipples on the end here because that's actually what fired the thing. You know, a tiny little explosion that ignited the gunpowder inside and made the bullet come out the barrel. These, these guns were carried by officers, and chances are they weren't reloading them during battle. This gun would have been pulled only if the unit was being overrun and the officer had to defend himself to get pretty much the hell 